Hello and welcome to PPG. Today we'll be looking at how to play Xbox games on the PC via Steam Link. What you need to do first, you need to create a batch file. So do that by starting with a text file and calling it something like Xbox. Now you want to edit that document and it's really simple, you just type start Xbox. We need the two dots afterwards otherwise it will just keep looping the program and then you also need to type pause because otherwise Steam will exit out of big picture after it's launched. Now you want to rename it to a batch file and save it and there it is. And you can check it's the same, start Xbox, pause, that's all you need. So you can get rid of that now. Now you need to go to the internet and search for batch to exe converter. There's loads available but I use this top one here. I found it quite reliable. So once you've downloaded that, open it up, search for the file you just made, the batch file. and compile it. There it is. Press exit. And that's now an EXE file. It won't work just yet. It'll work on normal Xbox but not through Steam. Let's test it out. There you go. That now launches. There's a few other things that we need to do before it actually work through Steam though. Let's add it into the Steam library anyway. You find it. And just add it in like a normal shortcut. There you go. It should launch the same, just so we need to do things with the controller first. There you go. That's the Xbox app running on a Windows 10 PC. You go down to the stream. Make sure you pick the right Xbox. There you go. And if you're on a wired connection, you can up the quality. I'm on a wireless one, so it, you know it's not as good as it could be. Right, now on the Steam link, there's a few settings you need to do first. You need to go to System and make sure you're running the new beta build instead of the public build. And also, in Settings, you want to go over to the Virtual Here option. And make sure you're using your 360 controller. Make sure it's shared, because the Steam controller is not supported yet. Not on the Xbox app anyway. And on that virtual here, here program, you need to start its counterpart. So you need to go to Steam, search virtual here, and it's that one virtual here for Steam Link. You get that. Once that's installed, it should run in the background. And that's why it says game in progress, because Steam thinks it's running a game. So connect the Steam Link. Load up your library. It'll take a couple of seconds to configure the pad you just put in. Now, go to your games, and there's the Xbox One app that I normally use. Here's the one I just created. There's another thing you need to do first go to control configuration and make sure that it's selected to run as a gamepad. And now launch the game. Now that's running the Xbox, the Xbox app on the Windows 10 PC streamed through to a different TV via my Steam link in a completely different room. So 
So fundamentally you're streaming it twice, so you might get lag if you're not on a decent wired connection. But that's it, running Steam, uh, Slime Rancher. With a 360 controller in a room I haven't even got my PC or my Xbox in. And you go home and you've got full control. There you go. That's it. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.